Um, your Jalal is saying, if street preaching is okay, so can catcalling. So I'm actually not familiar off the top of my head about the legality of street, like, of catcalling. But my understanding is that it depends on how it goes down. But this is a form of actual harassment. And there are instances where the way someone is street preaching can become harassment and meet that standard. But just, you know, evangelizing in general is doesn't meet that standard. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm in favor of banning catcalling. Like, what, what, how do you define catcalling? Like, a catcalling could be annoying, but it cat, it might not let, reach the level of harassment. Well, like, if so somebody tells you, yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm not endorsing. Is banned. There are just legal instances in which verbal is not harassment banned. does have legal consequences. Yeah. Okay, yeah, verbal harassment, like if it reaches to the level of harassment, that then then you just yeah, we have anti harassment laws. But not all form of like by the way, if I say cat calling shouldn't be banned, that doesn't mean I'm in favor of cat calling, okay? But I don't think like, you should be able to legally like if somebody whistles at you, like you'll say, like, Oh my god, you look hot or something, like is that cat calling? How what's like what's the lowest it, it form of cat calling? Yeah. Okay, that th you want to ban that? Like that is okay. That is like you might be saying like, okay, that's cringe. You don't like it, but you can't ban that. You, what What do you want to do? You want to call the police because somebody whistled at you? Like you could be like, I don't like it. You could be like that, I, but you can't ban everything you don't like. Jesus Christ! Like obviously that should also be allowed. That yeah, should be allowed. Like, I'm gonna go on record. I'm saying catcalling, even if it's cringe, it should be allowed. It shouldn't be illegal. Yes. Well, it, unless it meets the standard of harassment yeah of course so so with preaching preaching also if it reaches the level of harassment it should be banned but then it's banned not because of it being preaching or catcalling then it's being banned because it's harassment like people are like i, I don't know <laughs> like, obviously like um yeah like should parenting be banned like not unless you're hitting your kids like oh i wasn't talking about hitting my kids. like i don't know it's ridiculous like obviously if it reaches, like, you should Islam, you know, be like, should Islam be banned? I'm like, no, Islam should not be banned. Like, oh, so you're you're in favor of allowing terrorism. And like, you're like, oh, no, I was talking about people just believing in Islam. Obviously, if it reaches that level, it should that should be banned. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty so obvious. people who I don't know what obvious. catcalling is, wait, because there are people asking. Um, mm. Like, catcalling oh. is like, for example, it's typically, most typically happens to women. A woman is walking yeah. down the street and oftentimes and how it's usually in a group of guys like you walk past a group of guys they'll start commenting on your body they'll start asking you for your like your number they'll start saying like oh i want to fuck you like i want to blah 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 hey girl can i get at you blah, blah blah and sometimes they even start following women in this effort okay that's how that's definitely okay. harassment all right, so here's like I'm gonna go. So Harry Sultan is saying, "Hey, baby, nice ass." That's harassment. That's okay. I don't think that's the level. Uh, that should get charged. Okay, I don't think that should be legal. I think that's just cringe. Okay, I think like if somebody's following you and you're like, "Hey, leave me alone," and they keep following you. Okay, that is like yeah, call the goddamn cops. That's like harassment. Okay, but I don't think if so if you're walking in the street and somebody says, "Ooh, nice ass," okay, I think that's cringe. I think like that's lame. But I don't think that should be a crime. Does anybody here think that should be a crime? Yeah, it is lame. I agree. I agree. Like that's lame. Like first of all, like there's that is that should not be illegal. Do you, Susanna? Do you think that should be illegal for somebody? Like if you walk past somebody and they say like, "Oof, nice ass," okay, and you don't like it. Let's say some, you know, I'm not talking about whether like somebody says it and you like it. Okay, I'm talking about you say it and it was unwelcome. Okay, you did you didn't enjoy it. That was like you were annoyed. Okay. Do you think it should be that should be banned? Do you think that should be like what wait guys? When you say it's banned, it means that there should be you should be able to make it criminal. You mean it means that you should be able to criminally charge that somebody for somebody for somebody saying, Hey, nice ass. Obviously, that shouldn't get banned. I'm actually very consistent. Like, I don't know if people are trying to figure out like um like, oh, if you allow this, are you allowed do you allow this? Like no, I'm very consistent. I'm very I'm pro free speech. Um, I'm very the answer is no. It gets tricky because different states 
in the U.S. have different standards for what this is. So in California, it is against the law to engage in lewd or dissolute conduct, including explicit sexual comments or gestures. Violators will be punished with a fine of up to $1,000 and or six months in jail. Um, but this actually meeting those standards is a lot more complicated than just, oh, this guy made a rude gesture at me. I, my answer changes a lot in terms of if that person had any other reason in their environment to feel unsafe. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Harris is saying women like, uh, okay, like it from the guy they like, they hate it from the guy they don't like. I don't think, okay. So that's, that shouldn't really matter if something, okay. So the second part is saying you wouldn't know until you try what? <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, can't Pause. be banned. Ever. Okay, so I don't know what you're trying. Okay, so big uh, guys, if whether you like it or you don't like it, even if you don't like it, it doesn't matter. If it's not harassment, it shouldn't be banned. Okay, it, I mean, it shouldn't get legal stuff. Okay, so but yeah, I agree with the second part of what Harris was saying. Yeah, can't be banned at right. I think repeated unsolicited unsolicited uh, advances should be bad. Yeah, same thing what I said with preaching, okay? If somebody says like, hey, do you want to hear about Islam? Or do you want to hear about Jesus? Or do you want to hear about, I don't know, whatever, uh, the flying spaghetti monster, okay? And you're like, no, thank you, and you just walk away. That's not harassment. That shouldn't be bad, okay? And like, hey, Jesus is coming. If you tell like, hey, everybody, Jesus is coming, be, you know, be warned. And you're not harassing anybody. You're just in your corner and just telling people about Jesus is coming any minute now, right? That should be allowed. But if somebody follows me with either Islam or like, you know, oh, actually, I had somebody follow me. God damn it. There was somebody who wasn't sexual attention for me. I, it did, you know, she followed me for uh, three blocks. Okay. Jesus. And I was like, this is annoying. I can't imagine how a woman must feel because she's weaker than me. Okay. Obviously. Imagine if she was stronger than me and if this happened many times, okay? I'm like, I was annoyed for it happening once. And also I was annoyed when it happened only once and it happened at a time. By the way, it's true. She was like, not somebody I was attracted to at all. Maybe I wouldn't have been annoyed if she was attractive. Okay, so I am, you know, I have that bias. I don't deny that. But it was extremely annoying. And I was imagining how much more of a, annoyance this would be if i knew that in this lonely like alone in this like street if this was somebody that could overpower me easily okay because i did not have that fear at all okay so it, and if if this was a constant threat every time i was outside this could be a thing i was like i'm so glad i'm not a woman <laughs> So I'm so glad I'm not a woman. So I could see that the, the issue there. Okay. So I, it's like very un, uncomfortable. Um, but, but yeah, so, but I'm consistent. If, if, if it's, that is harassment. Okay. That if somebody's following you and you clearly have indicated to them that this is not welcome and they continue, that's harassment. That should be illegal. But if somebody just says, Hey, nice ass, that is annoying, but that is not harassment and that should not be bad. Yeah, it's tricky. I was looking into this while you were talking. There isn't any catcalling isn't illegal in the United States. Depending on the law, there might be some like prohibitions against it. But I also learned that France actually moved to like ban and punish street harassment. Um, street harassment that's different from catcalling. I mean, catcalling is a form of street harassment. Depends on how far you take it. If you just say nice ass, that shouldn't be banned. That should just be like. You're lame. You're a lame person. You know? I, I still lives. think it's harassment, but I don't think it there should nece necessarily okay. be immediate legal rebuke for that. But okay, that's still legally harassment. defined as harassment. Okay, so there's when we say harassment, there's a there's a there's a legal common, standard for that. Okay, there's a legal standard and there's the way we talk about things. Okay. When it comes to us talking about what is harassment, anything could be harassment. Okay. You just like somebody coming out and just not saying good morning to me that could be i could i could define that as my version of like that's harassment you're harassing me by not saying good morning to me okay so the way we <laughs> use the word Merry harassment Christmas. yeah so, no yeah that exactly that could be some of form of harassment okay so the way we use the word harassment is different from the way that legally is something defined as harassment okay so yes Technically, if you say nice ass to somebody and it's not welcome, you could see, say that is harassment. But legally, what's defined as harassment, it needs to reach a higher, I think it needs, there needs to be a higher standard for what is legally considered harassment. Anyways.
it needs to be a ve very well defined definition for what what is harassment. It can't just be like I feel I feel harassed, so therefore it should, it was harassment. It can't be that. It needs to be yeah. very specific. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, people are saying that I'm just like bitching. I actually have a very high like threshold for just like not caring about harassment like more than most people in my environment. So, and I don't I don't even necessarily know if that's a good thing. Wait, who's uh, you that you're bitching? The last person that you've been, yeah. <laughs> Susanna is actually, okay, guys, if you think Susanna is bitching, you guys are like really far gone to the other side because Susanna is one of those people who cringes when it comes to like, she's actually a little bit too far right for me. Sometimes I feel like she's like a men's right activist or something because sometimes <laughs> I feel like people, have, yes, like she's like, she, like she's very anti, I don't know if it's fair to say, but you, you seem to be very anti some feminist narrative is like that so it's completely the opposite of what you guys think i just i mean i understand why for some women they experience it like a lot more frequently than i do so they would just they're like done any instance they're done off top right right like for me i just, I just move on i'm like okay whatever honest i mean this is a, a dark secret that like people aren't supposed to say but oftentimes like when i get cat called i'm like oh my god thank you <laughs> <laughs> also guys Susanna is somebody like yeah music guy is pointing out that Susanna has been harassed a lot Susanna has some somebody that just came up like so strong against people who like make um deep fake uh porn versions of her or like and like attack her in the most explicit That's probably sexual ways why possible. when I get cat called I'm like oh my god like you weren't threatening yeah. to hurt me <laughs> yeah she gets she gets she, Susanna has gotten more rape threats than like I know a lot of women get rape threats but I think like Susanna has gotten like multiple women's lifetime fair of share of rape threats and she's like has grown a really thick skin so I don't know I don't think like accusing Susanna of bitching and complaining about things is really unfair yeah well Horace is saying no you shouldn't have high tolerance for harassment fuck them tell their dickheads okay Horace it's not yeah. this simple maybe as a guy you can say that like oh just tell them off I have to frequently calculate my, I have to have situational awareness, know who's around me. I'm going to be like, you know, um, who can defend me? Who would be willing to jump in and defend me? It's not that simple. So I just roll with it and just like, maybe, maybe they say something and it happens to bother me. Oftentimes it doesn't actually bother me because I don't like to um, build fragility within myself. I want to be anti-fragile, right? So, um, and especially if I actually did put a like work into like my appearance that day, I'm like, yeah, I do look good. That's right. Like, thank you for noticing. Um, <laughs> but, um, oh, thank you for your, uh, sympathy random guy about what I go through with the Hindufa. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so, so charming is saying preaching can be harmful or beneficial. It depends. Again, the government should not get involved every time something is harmful. Okay. There are many things that are harmful, but it's too much for the government to get involved. Okay. Cheating on your wife or boyfriend or girlfriend, that's also harmful. Do you want a government? Do you want government to mandate that? Do you want the government to make cheating on your wife illegal? Do you want them to get in your business like that? Like, obviously, there are many things lying, like not being an honest person to your friends and family, that's also harmful. Do you want the government to come monitor who how honest you are being to your friends and family? Like not buying a gift for your daughter on her birthday. That's also very harmful. Do you want the government to mandate that? Do you want the government to have rules for making sure that you have a birthday for your daughter at her birthday? Like, you know, just like be careful not to be like, oh yeah, this should be banned because it's bad. There are so many things that are bad that the government should have no business meddling in. But I, I wasn't suggesting that you said that. I'm just saying that. Um, used it as a, next, as a way to highlight something. Anyways. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get in trouble for this one. <laughs> I don't know. I I do get annoyed when people act like just receiving a compliment is this like end of the world situation. Like mm -hmm. I have oh. instances where like um <laughs> guy tells me nice ass, I say thanks. I'll let my parents know that their DNA pleases you. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Um like I've had situations where like leaders of other organizations have like made a pass at me. Like I could turn this into like a big me too situation. Right. But I don't, mm. I'm just like, okay, thanks. 
noted. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, just make sure you communicate with people whether something is welcome. And guys, if you if you welcome some people liking you, you know, uh, complimenting you, and you don't welcome others just because you find some of them attractive and some of them don't, you're not being a hypocrite, okay? Like, I, okay, this is pure cringe. You're like, oh, somebody says like, oh, I've been saying nice ass and you don't like it and you think it's harassment. But if a, but if a, somebody who is more handsome told you that you have a nice ass, you would like it. Yeah, but yeah, okay. And what, they're being a hypocrite because they have standards for what they like? Like, yeah, they don't like you telling them and they might like somebody else telling them. So you should shut up. Like if they don't, if they tell you that they don't welcome it from you, you don't, you, you don't, you don't have a right to their, to them being happy. That you're like, oh no, you should like me telling you that you have a nice ass because you would like it if I was more handsome. And I told you like, no, they don't have to, they are allowed to not like it from you and like it from someone else. Like they are different people have preferences. Like what do you, what the fuck do you expect? Like, this is not hypocrisy. This is people having preferences. <laughs> <laughs> Or is it saying, I say you should make it a Me Too issue. I love Me Too. Um, <laughs> just for the record, I don't want to make it seem like the way that I deal with these situations is the way that other women should deal with them. This is just my preference. This is what's right for me. Um, but every it's, it's different for other people. And other people react to these things very differently based on other things that they've been through. Um, for me, oftentimes, I'm just like actually flattered and I uh, keep it in my back pocket. So, um, meanwhile, Gaijin American is advocating for the uh, social credit system as a way to combat street harassment. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, now let's get to this call out from before the beginning of the stream. Mm -hmm. 